algorithms, divide and conquer, closest pair points, Stanford Crow Course Initiative. Divide and conquer methodology. The first major algorithmic technique is divide and conquer. Part of the trick of making a good divide and conquer algorithm is determining how a given problem can be separated into two or more similar but smaller subproblems. More generally, when we are creating a divide and conquer algorithm, we will take the following steps. 1. Given a problem, identify a small number of significantly smaller subproblems of the same type. 2. Solve each subproblem recursively, where the smallest uh, possible size of the subproblem is a base case. And 3. Combine this solution in a, into a solution for the main problem. Closest pair of points. Given n points in a metric space, find a pair of points with the smallest distance between them. In the graphic, uh, the solution are the red, the red points. Butte force algorithm. A naive algorithm brute force, checking every possible pair of points, takes O of D times N squared in the order, uh, order runtime, where D is the space dimension. The property called uh, element uniqueness reduces the closest pair, so omega N times log N lower one. We will develop a divide and conquer based uh, order n log n algorithm uh, assuming dimension d constant. This property of uh, element uniqueness means that if the distance between two points is zero implies uniqueness of the point. In the computational model, which assumes the, the floor function is computable in constant time, the problem can be solved in O n times log log n. If we allow uh, plus randomization to be used together with the floor function, the problem can be solved in O of n time. We can see in the image uh, an example of a brute forest algorithm that computes the distances between all the n times n minus 1 over 2 pairs of points stored in the p array and then pick the pair with the smallest distance. In one dimension, we can divide the points of the set S into, into two subsets S1 and S2 be some X coordinate so that P small than Q for all P belonging S1 and Q belonging S2 recursively compute close spared P1, P2 in S1 and Q1, Q2 in S2 We can see the division the media median m. Let's delta the smallest separation found so far. Delta is the minimum of the pair. Absolute value p2 means p1, q2 means q1. The closest pair is p1, p2 or, or q1, q2 or some P3, Q3, where P3 belongs S1 and Q3 belongs S2. Key observation. If M 
is the debating coordinate, then P3, Q3 must be within delta of M. In one dimension, P3 must be the rightmost point of S1 and Q3 the left leftmost point of S2. But, but the notions uh, do not generalize to higher dimensions, only for one dimension. Another question, how many points of S1 can lie in the interval M minus delta M by definition of delta? At most one. Same holds for S2. Debate and conquer algorithm for closest for closest point well well stated. We have the, the set S. If a, if a number of elements of in the set S is one, output delta is infinite. If a number of elements of in S is two, output delta is the absolute value of the difference between P2 and P1. Otherwise, we have the following steps. Defining M as a median of S, divide S into S1 and S2 at M median, defining delta 1 and delta 2 as a closest pairs of S1 and S2, and defining delta 1, 2 as uh, minimum distance across the cut, the, the median cut. Return delta as minimum absolute between delta 1, delta 2, and delta 1, 2. Recurrence is, uh, in terms of time, t of n equals 2 times t of n over 2 plus order, 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 uh, order of n, which solves to an algorithm, algorithm of type order of n times log n. With two dimensions divide and conquer algorithm, equally we partition S into S1 and S2 via vertical line, define it by median X coordinate in S, this uh, vertical line. Recursively compute closest pair distance, distances delta 1 and delta 2, delta 1 and delta 2, setting delta as a minimum of delta 1 and delta 2. Now compute the closest pair with one point each in S1 and S2. We can see in the in the image in each candidate pair PQ where P belongs uh, in S1 and Q belongs in S2, the points PQ must both lie within delta of. At this point, complication arises, which weren't present in one day in one dimension. It's entirely possible that all n over 2 points of S1 and S2 lie within delta of vertical line in a strip, in this strip. Naively, this will require n squared over 4 calculations. We show that points in P1, P2, delta strip around the vertical, vertical line, 
if we have a, um, a special structure, solve a conquer algorithm much faster. Conquer step. Consider a point P belonging S1. All points of S2 within distance delta of P must lie in a delta times 2 delta rectangle R. How many points can be inside R if each pair is at least delta apart? In two dimensions, this number is at most 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we only need to perform 6 times n over 2 distance uh, comparisons. We don't have an order n times log n time algorithm yet. Why? In order to determine at most six potential mates of P, project P and all points of P2 onto line, onto vertical line, median vertical line. Pick out points whose protection, projection is within delta of P at most six. We can do this for all P, working certain leads for uh, P1 and P2 in total order of n time. The sorted leads for P1 and P2 can be obtained from pre-sorting of S1 S2. Final recurrence is Final recurrence is t of n equals 2 times time n over 2 plus order n which solves to t of n equals order n log n times log n. We have a pseudocode summarizing the, these steps for finding closest pair of XP IP. XP is a subset sort, sorted by X coordinate, same for IP. If N number of points is less or equal than 3, then return closest points of uh, XP using bridge force algorithm. Else, division left, right, median, and we can see the steps we have made.